Hello, I'm going to take a few moments to explain how to photograph your sketchbooks using something that's fairly bog standard as a mobile phone. So this is the technique that I would use. First of all, get your sketchbook, lay it on a nice piece of white paper so it's nice and clean and clear. Check there's decent light in the room. You might need to put an overhead light on or make sure you buy a window if this will work well. Hold your phone nice and square to your sketchbook and you're always going to shoot downwards at your sketchbook on the white paper. As you work through the sketchbook, photograph double page spreads. This is a lot quicker than trying to do individual pages. Try and get the whole sketchbook in the shot, as you can see from this example. It doesn't matter if there's plenty of white space around the edge. Do make sure that you shoot every single page, including the cover. Once you've downloaded all of the photographs onto your computer, you can see here that I've got a folder that I've named Beatty Sketchbook 1. And if I click on that, you can see here are all the images that I've just photographed. I've not photographed the whole of the sketchbooks. It would take rather too long to go through this tutorial. So these are just some sample pictures. Once I know where the pictures are and then they're saved, I'm ready to use Adobe Acrobat to turn this into a multiple page PDF. When I'm ready to create my PDF, I open up Adobe Acrobat and you can see there are two options at the top. Home is where my existing files already are, but we're going to select Tools and this is the page that gives me lots of options of things that I can create using this program. The one we're going to use today is Create a PDF. So click on that to start. I'm going to choose Multiple Files because I want to bring a lot of pictures all together into one document. The option I'm going to choose is Combine Files create a single PDF from multiple files. Then click Next. I'm now going to click Add Files. I'm going to navigate to where my pictures are and you can see I'm already there in Beatty Sketchbook with all of these images and now I can add them all separately or I can hold down the Shift key to collect a whole lot and when I'm ready I add files. Acrobat adds these very quickly and you can see the pictures are already in order ready to go. You can however shuffle them around a little bit so if something is in the wrong order it's very very easy to change it. Once I'm ready to create my document I just click on combine and you can now see that you just wait while Adobe works its way through and pulls all your pictures together to make one document. This takes a bit of time if you've got more than 30 pictures in. You can see now if I scroll through this document it's now showing me a PDF. When I'm ready to save it, I click on this floppy disk icon, choose a folder to save your document and it'll always default to binder one so I'm going to call it Beatty Sketchbook and it'll automatically add PDF to the end of this and I'm just going to choose where I'm going to put it and then save. It's as easy as that. 